What is going on, YouTube? As y'all see from the title, man, oh man, oh man, dude, we got some, oh my god, bro. It's crazy how, like, I dropped a video on it, basically just covering, like, maybe he's not, because he's not admitting to it, and he's not denying it. Then, some new information comes out that they was promoting, like, a whole event to get this information out, and I said, okay, he might be innocent. Then, bro drops a tweet. So I'm gonna get straight to the tweet, man. We we get straight to it. The Twitch ban. Hello, I I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about, and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Gaming Studio. A lot of people have been let in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I and we have made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families and I never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch but for the reason outside of my control I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that, now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whispers between, were there Twitch whispers, whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. He basically just admitted to it. I could, I really could have just stopped, I could stop right here. But he goes on to make this look a whole lot worse. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much into the direction of being inappropriate. But nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I've never met the individual. I, I never met the individual. I went through a, a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute, which Twitch and the case was resolved in settlement. Let me be clear, it was no criminal case against me and no criminal charges have been ever been brought against me. Now, from the moral standpoint, I'll, abs I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's me as an adult, a husband, and a father. And that's crazy that you're a husband and a father talking inappropriately with a minor, bro. There's just no excuse for that. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit that this was stupid. Now, with all this being said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around social media in the destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Yes, you are. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me knows who I stand. This is really who you are. Knows where I stand in those things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry, friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always shown me and my family love and support throughout all the years. We love you guys. With Like you can't imagine, I have the fucking best community and circle if any of this. Anyway, he said he went on to finish it, basically all this dumb shit. Bro, I literally defended him for the past two days. Like I, the, I, I was on his side. I'm like. They came out with that information in my last video about the two Twitch associates basically trying to promote like a little event. If if it gets a certain amount, they'll expose Dr. Disrespect or something. And I find that kind of suspicious. But I also found it suspicious when I first dropped the video on this, when you kept pretty much going in a circle about legal and you can't say certain stuff. Basically not denying it and you also didn't admit it. So I'm also saying, bro, you can really just say you didn't do it. All from the drop this tweet, basically admitting to everything. And I just find it crazy that you're a husband and a father with a big ass platform, and you put all that on the line to talk to a minor and inappropriately a minor, and you're trying to downplay it. Like, bro, she might not be the only minor he was talking to at the time. This was just caught in a Twitch whispers. I don't know who he talks to. 
But now I'm looking at you sideways because you got you made your whole community look fucking stupid. Everybody was defending you. From Nick Merckx, Tim, like everyone was, everyone was defending you. Like if you went on Twitter and you seen everything, everyone was defending him. Like he's guilt, he's innocent until proven guilty. Like no one was falling for it. You made everyone look stupid. You made all look stupid. And therefore, yeah, you you really do not deserve any platform. If I'm being real, you you, you just don't do that to people, bro. You, you should have said you should have came out with this tweet, like this Twitch ban shit, immediately. You should have came out with it immediately, confessing, because he made his whole community look fucking retarded. And that's sad, bro. It's disgusting. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this today's video. I hope you guys liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and peace.